Will Tennyson is a Canadian fitness YouTuber that has taken the world by storm. Over the past couple years, he's evolved his YouTube strategy as well as his personal brand in a way that's remarkable. If you haven't been living under a rock, then you've probably been suggested at least one of his videos in the past year or so. His YouTube strategy over the past couple years has brought in a much larger audience, which has given him the ability to make even a bigger impact. And while at the same time, he's been able to be extremely real with his content. In fact, he just uploaded a video where he got married and in the last part of the video went over his vows. That is really personal. And for Will to share that with the world, it's a really special moment, not only for his channel, but just in the creator space in general. In a lot of ways, you can say that the alpha male is evolving. Today, we're doing a deep dive on Will Tennyson, and we're gonna discover his secrets to success right here on The Science of Winning. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of Will Tennyson. He's essentially the alpha male that we'll see in 100 years. And I mean that sincerely. The reason being is Will is very assimilated. Most people when they get to his stage are very much one thing and not so much another, but Will is very well-rounded. Not just like, <laughs> I'm talking about in every area. If you know anything about Will's content, the amount of innuendos is ridiculous. Now the reason I say that is most people when you're at the stage of Will, even before you've reached any kind of success, are kind of jaded, you're not super healthy. And what I mean by that is Will did most of his inner soul searching before he came to YouTube. Now I'm sure Will would be a humble guy and say, no, that's not necessarily the case, but like, this is kind of true. Now what I see most people, especially when starting out, there's kind of this, not necessarily jadedness, but a desire to achieve something in an unhealthy way. And from the start, I feel like Will's battle in his youth when he was struggling with his weight, he had to overcome a lot. So just the fact that he overcame that and then started the YouTube channel, his foundation was built different. I mean, even looking at his first video on his page, I'm sure he's hidden videos because there's no way having a thumbnail like this, having that title like that, there's no way that's your first video. Way too good a package way too good a video for that to be your first hit of it. If you're curious what Will's story was from the beginning, feel free to check out this video. It has 4.7 million views. And like I was saying, when you come from adversity, I mean from any type of adversity, in order for him to overcome that and then start his YouTube channel, he's building on such a strong foundation. Most people that I see in the fitness influencer space, they always kind of had a knack for it. They always kind of had a proclivity to be healthy. So I feel like Will's background of struggling with his weight and really struggling with his body and then looking like he does today. Actually, that was like his first Instagram picture. <laughs> he looks bigger than that uh, nowadays, but you're just gonna resonate with your audience in a different way. And this comes through his content. If you have followed Will for any length of time, sometimes he goes on these clarity, I don't wanna call them rants, but he has an ability to connect with his audience that I haven't seen with any other fitness influencer. I know it sounds very, with well, a fitness influencer, but Honestly, if you just hear this guy, I mean, that's probably why this video did so well, was he got the click and then the retention for the video, like all that's good too, but just his story and the energy and the essence that he brings to it, it's hard not for people to resonate with that. So this was kind of Will's first kind of start into YouTube. Now, if we go back to, to Will's channel, you know, odds are he, especially with 404 videos, my guess is some of these videos he privated in between because the view counts from the beginning are really strong. I mean, 300, almost 150, 2.3, 1.7. I mean, doing this back to back from the start is, unheard of. So my guess is there are videos in between that he decided to private. I know Will got some YouTube consulting eventually. So I'm sure when he did, he went back and kind of rebranded him himself, especially on Instagram. If you scroll to the bottom, this is his first image. I mean, there's no way you start from there. <laughs> I mean, Will at this point had his life together, had his crap together, had a really strong foundation, obviously jacked AF. As frick. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously had some knowledge about YouTube, especially just based on that first video. So early on in Will Tennyson's YouTube career, he's experimenting with different types of content, mostly exercise, fitness, nutrition, but occasionally in the personal vlog. And to be honest, the spread or the difference between his fitness content versus his vlog content isn't as bad as you would think it is. For most people, there's a huge contrast between vlog, when they post a vlog versus when they post what people show up for. But with Will, there's not that big of a gap initially. And this tells us a few things. One, 
the audience just likes Will for Will. And two, maybe doing something in his videos that's keeping them to watch. And to be honest, that one thing is Will's really funny. His deadpan Canadian sense of humor resonates a lot with, uh, with his subscribers. It's interesting watching him use this as a retention strategy later on. That's the YouTube verbiage for it. Now, Will's humor has been used to be kind of a retention hack from a YouTube perspective in a lot of his newer videos. Now, his humor has evolved over the past year, and now it's in a place where it's not as family friendly, but regardless, Will's a funny guy. But Will will continue to do these videos and slowly start to build the following that we see today. He will continue to do more fitness challenges, do reviews of even influencer courses, and of course, make the occasional vlog. And of course, like any other fitness influencer, he's collabing with people like Greg and continuing to do what he does best. Banter, throw some witty, colorful remarks, and make more videos of him eating, laughing, working out. It's simply what Will does best. It's almost like Will is in his sweet spot. He's dancing with the viewers in a way that is smooth, clumsy, and remarkable. One thing that's interesting about Will's content is not necessarily goes after, but his videos are built for every type of person. This is kind of a different concept. Think of the four, there's more than these four, neurotransmitters in your brain. There's serotonin, there's cortisol, there's dopamine, and there's also oxytocin. Now, most people kind of gravitate towards one of these neurotransmitters predominantly, and it causes them to kind of be in that way. People that kind of gravitate oxytocin are typically more caring, more cozy. They like to watch videos of puppies. Maybe they like to watch videos of Will in the day of the life, things like that. People that have high cortisol, high stress hormones, like to watch these investigative journalist videos and even like watching whether this influencer is running a scam. They like to figuring those out. And even from a marketing perspective, by Will putting out these different types of videos, he's catering to a larger group of people. If Will just did vlogs, just did these types of case studies, just did something else, then it wouldn't necessarily reach the amount of people that he does today. And if you're wondering, people that have predominantly dopamine as their neurotransmitter, again, I'm oversimplifying. If you're a neuroscience watch, uh, neuro neuroscientist watching this, I know. Feel free to comment below <laughs> and, and uh, critique what I'm saying, but this is just like in general. Uh, high, people high in dopamine usually like variety, so just the fact that Will changes up his content a lot, and serotonin. Serotonin does a lot of different things, but usually people high in serotonin like structure. They like organization. And that being said, Will has content for people that are high in serotonin. Right here we see the alphabet order, we have 10 day fat loss kind of like schedule, like for 10 days I'm gonna do this and then that. It's highly structured. And people like that if uh, that's how they're built. So not only does Will have a great personality, but he also is catering to just about every type of person. But Will was missing one thing, the YouTube sauce. At this point, Will was kind of doing good here. One video popped off, one video didn't, and was kind of figuring out what can I do to get better? And that's when Will stepped up his YouTube game. Even as you can see here, he's starting to change his thumbnails, starting to make it a little bit more simple, a little bit more broad appealing. I can see Will sitting down and asking himself, what is a video a seven-year-old and a 70-year-old can click on? I could see him asking, what type of person not interested in fitness would also watch this? And this is when Will really starts to hit his stride. By already having his catalog of exercise content, by Will making these banger type videos, he is bringing in a new audience and has the catalog to help assimilate those people deeper into his content. As you can see, Will is slowly starting to find his, his lane here, but eventually he cracks it. Having this outlier is a great sign of that. Will is starting to send his videos out to a new audience. And as you can tell, Will slid in just about every one of his videos with knowing YouTube, being funny, being smart. Recipe for success right there. I remember the first time Will was suggested to me, it was this video. And I remember staring at the thumbnail being, that is such a good, A, idea, B, that is such a good, thumbnail. I mean, the perspective of being in the fridge and it's so, uh, you know exactly what's going on. I was like, this is art. <laughs> he needs to sign this and put this in a museum somewhere. And honestly, I didn't, I didn't watch it initially. I think it was suggested to me maybe five or six times. And then I watched it and that's when I fell in love with Will Tennyson. 
I do want to make note of one of the recent videos that Will did. <laughs> okay, this video here, the truth about body dysmorphia. I'm, I'm not just saying this. I think this is one of the best videos of fitness on YouTube out there, like ever, like top five, top two, top two best videos. The realness, the message, I was very, very impressed with A, Will's vulnerability, and it was just a banger video. I mean, this is what I say when he's evolving the male alpha male. To 100 years from now, everyone's gonna have this level of clarity, understanding, assimilation. Assimilation meaning like you don't have all these random skeletons in your closet. You're not overly lopsided on one side of your life. Like you're healthy in all these areas and then one side's way behind. By Will making this video, it really shows us he's like a whole assimilated person. Now obviously he has his flaws, his mistakes, he would say that. But compared to the average person, the average fitness YouTuber, it's night and day. And then, oh my gosh, especially it makes sense him dropping this video right before his wedding. This is backwards. If you haven't seen this, wow, he says his vows at the end of the video. Watch, okay, watch that and tell me you don't get emotional. The authenticity of Will's channel, of his pursuit, of his aim is pure. And I'm sure Will would say at times it wasn't. It's hard not to respect Will and it's hard not to respect this this hero's journey. In a lot of ways, by Will getting married, I feel like he's completed his like his hero's journey, his cycle. His cycle, not not his site, not his steroid cycle, but his cycle of life. I have no idea where Will's gonna go in the future. Um, honestly, being I don't see him being this this high for now. I think he's gonna go back down, maybe get on his Jesse James West villain arc <laughs> for a little bit, and then maybe have another time where he maybe has a kid and makes makes more videos like this. But I have so much respect for Will. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing. Let me know who to do next. And I will see you guys later. Feel free to watch this next one. Peace.